Hi, I'm Tap Pig with Vet Tech, and you're watching Two Minutes with Tap. Today we're here, we're still here in Cincinnati at the International Hoof Care Summit, and we're going to interview Dave Farley. Dave is a founding member of the AAPF, uh, shoes horses from Ohio all the way to Florida, spends a lot of time in Florida dealing with them the hunter jumper crowd down there and today we're going to talk about load share for the foot. Hi Dave, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me Tab, I appreciate it. Topic of discussion last night was apparently sharing the load with these feet. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're looking for and why that's so important for the horse? Oh absolutely, it's so critical with the new synthetic materials and the new footing that these horses are having to not only show in but ride at home that you absolutely have to read that foot, what is happening in the foot, the distortion that's, that's going on in that foot, and understand that if you have pulls and lever arms in one place, it's going to collapse in another. And we have to support that whole foot, the whole structure that way. So as these horses are going through that ground, they're tending to crush more in the back half of the foot, or is the toe elongating that's causing the crush? What's, well, a what's lot kind of going on? A lot of it's going on. The problem with the footing is, or the good thing with the footing is, it's very, very abrasive, it's very sticky. Okay. So as the horse lands, if there is a little distortion, a little flare to the toe, that's going to hit, it's going to jam, and then slam the heels down. Oh, that's okay. Then your heels are going to be driven up. So the only way to stop that, obviously, is, is because of the footing, is to remove the, the abnormal flare, if okay. possible, and to share the load across the whole bottom of the foot, not just the heels. Okay, so you're... The new materials on the market today, you're covering the whole bottom of the foot with this stuff? Absolutely. How, how are these hunters taking that? Is it affecting their movement or their jump capability? We're, the only time that they're affected with that is if we can't get them broke over quick enough. Because the footing also, as it affects the, the landing phase of the stride, mm -hmm. it affects the breakover because the toe cannot slip as it breaks over. Can't get down in the ground and get that get down. No, no, it's right on top and it's very sticky. Okay. So it just as the foot rolls over, by having the heel floated and shared, not, right. not floated so-called as to non-weight bearing, but the load across the whole bottom of that foot keeps it up and allows it to break over. So sometimes we have to rock or wear those at home. Okay, I was, I was going to ask you, are you rocking these toes or are you squaring? What, you know, what's your, what's your rocker, preferred method? Rocker is a preferred method in this material because it allows it to roll over gently. Okay. rather than a quick snap. Which is going to keep your knee down a little bit lower, you're not getting that big pop. Absolutely. And that's, and that's what they're looking for, is a nice yeah. low knee. Everybody's a winner with the right shoe, the right material, and the right horse. Cool. How long do you, you, you see these horses four or five months out of the year? Six months. Six months out of Six the year? Months. Okay. How long, when by the time they fall apart down there, is it just one shoeing to get them back where they need to be, or is it taking multiple trips to the shop to get them where that's, they need them. That's a very good question. Sometimes they, they arrive and they're in pretty bad shape uh, because of all of the, the water that they're getting. They're getting bathed all the time. So sometimes they'll arrive in pretty bad shape. Usually with, with the, the good shoes that we have and the good material to go under the shoes, if we can hot fit that foot, yeah. it, it holds it right there and it starts to build up. Two or three shoes. So half the season we're building it back up and then half the season they're spot on. They're just maintaining what you got and send them home with a good, healthy foot. Absolutely. And they can go yeah. home and train. Absolutely. And hopefully a few blue ribbons while they're there. Well, that'd be nice. I'm sure the owners would really like that. Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, thanks for visiting with us today. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Tab. Come Take and care. visit me. We'll do it. So today we learned about load sharing or sharing load on the foot. What Dave means by that, just to clarify, these materials are poured in the foot or packed in the foot to ground level. That way the, the wall, the sole, and the frog are all bearing weight at the same time. That's what's stabilizing these feet so they can get them back into that in good shape two to three shoes. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.